Mule Group is an absolutely fantastic place to work. We've got a really enthusiastic bunch of people that are here to deliver excellent customer service and really efficient and effective services to all of our customers. We're a housing association and we own and manage over 5,000 properties nationwide. People Places Passion is how we've encapsulated our corporate goals. We've spent a lot of time this year redefining what Mule Group is and what our services should be for the future. So we've consulted really widely with residents and with staff and what we've done is we've encapsulated our three main goals under those headings. So if we talk about people, it's about investing in people, it's about investing in people and communities. And when we talk about places, it is about that community cohesion, it's about regeneration, it's about developing new homes, it's about asset management. And the passion is all about our passion for um, service excellence and continuous improvement. When Sam said to us, it was just like unbelievable. Right? We were just gobsmacked. Like when Monica, she she said to Sam, she's like, "Have we got a house?" <laughs> and she was like, yeah. "Just couldn't believe it." She was, and then after Sam left, she was like, "Have we got a house?" <laughs> <laughs> Been busy. <laughs> First week or two, when uh, once we got the keys and once we once we saw ourselves, um, we started to get the flooring down, the laminates, the carpets. Uh, start started to move all the furniture in. Um, I went back to work. It was quite hectic for Monica and the kids. Um, but eventually, we got it all sorted out, and and now it's all looking like how it should do from our side and. Dead happy. Sam was great. Uh, the process, obviously, with the paperwork, with viewing, um, and then when once we had the keys, it was just like all, all systems go. <laughs> well, providing houses like this is just part of the overall package that we provide to people who are in housing need. It's really the start of the journey, I think. The bricks and mortar. Um, obviously, what's as important, if not more so, is that people turn these properties into a home, and we help them do that. Um, but also the services that we provide once they've moved in um, to help them feel part of the community, to help them feel supported, to help them to live sort of independently and successfully um, is part of the overall sort of Muir Group offer um, and what we're all about as an organisation. Size, obviously with the new bedroom tax laws etc and I've been finding it a little bit difficult you know money wise. Obviously it's in the title income management we deal with rent so yes there is a perception that we're rent collectors we do have an obligation to collect the rent but nowadays it's much more than that it's gone beyond the old rent collectors knocking on the door pay up or you're out there's a whole host of other issues that residents go through and we need to be able to be in a position to help them. The money advisors and, and the team in general, they look at it holistically. It's the complete package and we, we see it from its infancy, the start of the, the problem, and we can see it all the way through to its natural conclusion, whatever that may be. And we never lose sight of that tenant and that problem. And it, I'm, I always say Mule Group, it's, it's a family-orientated organisation. The tenants are part of that family and we help them, you help family members. You know, Muir Housing have been very good to be honest because they informed us way before, you know, it actually started. And I think, oh, it's not gonna happen or it might happen or, and then all of a sudden it just hit and it's like, wow. So it's, it has been quite difficult. However, the Muir team, to be honest, have really, really helped me move here. I've got everything sorted for me. It's just brilliant, to be honest. Anytime anyone contacts us, no matter which way it is, they will get through to us. We've done things like introduce Facebook as well, so we can improve how we offer the services and make ourselves as accessible as we possibly can to the customers.
It's been about 18 months now since the heating has been going wrong all the time, every, like every four days during the winter, not the summer, because it doesn't affect it in the summer. So then Matt came along, he said, I found it. So he went off and fixed it. So I'm very satisfied with it, you know, I mean, I really am. I mean, the bin, I've loved it here. I feel safe, I'm on my own and I do feel safe. After they sent the letter out, we had to um, they give us a date on when they were coming out to uh, see what we wanted doing and you know if we wanted uh, certain colours and stuff like that and, and then they come out on that date and uh, we went from there. They took what into consideration what I wanted them to do. Um, like if I asked them could he have extra space at the side, extra cupboards at the side of me uh, cooker on the wall and they've done that. Uh, they've left a space for the dishwasher for when I can afford one. <laughs> so apart from that, yeah, everything's fine. When I had the shower unit, right, I was ca ca catching my, not with being uh, sighted, like being at my sight, I used to catch my legs on the tray and I used to watch them uh, bruise them left, right and centre. And I kept it a going like for a few years like this. And, uh, but uh, I gave in, I said, oh, go and have a wet room, John, if you're possible. Uh, I mean, I'm really pleased with them, I am. Really, really pleased. And the workmanship, I, 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 if, if it was 20 out of 10, I'd give it 20 right away. Like, you know, like. During 2013-14, we've spent a lot of time looking at what we do um, and how we do it. And one of the things that we've sort of challenged ourselves about really is what our main aims and objectives should be. So we've redefined our vision and mission and it's now um, investing in people and communities changing lives. And I think what that is trying to encapsulate is actually it's more than being just a landlord. It's more than providing a new home and, and you know, enabling people to have a good start in life. It's about all of those added services. So what else can we do to help people help themselves? What else can we do in a local community? What other work can we do with other agencies to support people in, the, in a kind of wider sense than just putting a roof over people's heads? I find, find it very, very nice here. The people are nice here and, uh, and it's, it's so convenient so where, where we are located to town centre. We should just take a few minutes walk. Before, it, before the, this was all worked out, it was, um, it was all really overgrown and there were some rats underneath the plants, underneath the bushes. We've got somewhere now to, to hang our washing out on the washing line and we can sit in, sit in here when, when the weather's nice. They came up Trump's and we've, it's been, it, we've, they've, they've done this, they've put all the chippings down and the slate and the, as you can see the garden, it's beautiful. Several of us are into gardening so we want to keep it and it encourages us to do things and it, get, it gets you out. <laughs> Well, this year for me, obviously, is my first year as Chief Exec. has been very much about getting to know people. So I've spent quite a lot of time out meeting residents, but meeting staff, trying to understand a bit more about the organisation um, and very much about redefining the organisation, the corporate plan and where we're going. So we've um, consulted residents widely on what their expectations are, what they need from us as a landlord and what we should be providing in the future. And we've got two fantastic regional residents forums. We've got a resident scrutiny group that does some fantastic work. And we're looking at opportunities where we can engage more residents and enable more, more residents to be involved with the work that we actually do. So the culmination of our corporate plan is very much based on their feedback and what they expect and want of us as a landlord. We're, we're doing it because it's very important to get feedback from, from our staff and our residents and board alike to make sure that everyone as a team has taken the association forward in the direction that we all can sign up to. It's a classic example in business planning that you have a golden thread and I think uh, we've talked about it in the past but I think this process is actually going to deliver that. You get people involved right at the concept of the plan uh, and that golden thread hopefully will, will go all the way through to, to that final completion of the plan.
and delivery. It's vital that we engage with residents. We're, without the residents and without staff, the association is just, you know, just an organisation. Uh, we have to look after our residents and we have to look after our staff. So if we don't involve them in the consultation, it's any sort of corporate plan that doesn't follow that is a really just uh, almost a white elephant. I'm Beverly Price, I'm the Community Engagement Officer for Muir Group Housing and we're at the Go Games today uh, which is an annual event that we hold um, to distract people from antisocial behaviour and bring the estates closer together. It's really important to have events like this because it helps to unite people together, to bring the communities together. There's three estates around here in West Winsford and you know years ago um, they wouldn't interact with each other at all, but these events are bringing people together and getting them talking and also signposting people to local training, to, to local job opportunities and um, clubs like uh, CV writing clubs, things like that, so it's been really, really beneficial. The idea of community engagement is to empower people. They can collectively empower themselves to address any issues that arise. So we're, we're really a support mechanism in the background that um, helps to lift them up and, and give, them, give them a voice. I think it's really important because it keeps the kids entertained because some kids don't get to go out much and they don't get to spend time or do fun things so that's why we hold these events to give them a bit of fun. I get a sense of achievement. I get seeing the kids smiling and having fun. I really love, I love that, seeing them instead of crying and being a bit down. I see them having fun and just being children, kids being kids. I think it's very important because some like people stay a lot of um, spend an awful lot of time at home and they don't realise how many, there's nice people all the way around, just all the different estates and it's quite nice to be able to get together and meet up and see all the children playing together and seeing all the different schools coming in together. So I think it's very important. Moku Park very helpful people. I wouldn't know what to do but I would say actually because I've been through a lot and they've been there all the way for me and I just want to give them what I can to help them could say I appreciate everything. We'd just like to thank you from the bottom of our hearts and just thank you for everything you've done for us over the since the, since the whole building's been open. It's just a marvellous place. It's a beautiful garden and we're so chuffed and we can't thank you enough. The words just can't say how we feel. Thank you.